Okay. Thanks for that. There's so many pieces. There like so many. yeah, there and it's so like multidimensional and layered. But as you're speaking, I'm thinking of like you incurred a sort of um like epic and unusual degree of pain that couldn't be sourced. And for your individual path, that completely served you in terms of your mission and your purpose in tapping into this. Great. This That's whole totally realm great. of fascia. And as well, just like your intellectual curiosity and your strong will and determination of like, you are going to figure this out. Because th that's what I realize about now that I have a relationship with fascia is that it makes me so self responsible with my body. I'm not abdicating authority to other people to heal me. I'm being invited to go deeper, deeper, deeper to figure it out for myself. So it's like you're so uniquely like, the right one to give the world this gift of of our fascia. Thank you, Danny. That actually feels that feels really good. I have never thought about it like that. Sometimes it feels like a burden. I hate to say that, but it's like it feels like why have I been given this and I am not able to, you know, or like I want to get it like I see it. Can everybody have this? I see the benefit behind it. Can everybody else? And how do I translate or how do you find the people who are longing for this? And so um, I do, I feel like, you know, in some ways it's downloaded. Like I did not have a medical degree. I did not go to science in my undergrad. I literally put together, there wasn't even a lot of science when I was doing this. There wasn't a lot of science behind fascia. It's now becoming more and more accessible but it just wasn't there and so a lot of times I'm like does everybody else can they do this is this something that someone else can do and so it feels like a little bit of a you're right I I laugh too because I think that my brain I'm ADHD and um I noticed that while I was like I'm perfectly suited to have like this really complicated mass of like stuff coming out of my brain and I was able to channel it into the body to make order of something that's very complicated with my complicated brain and um, and then trying to, I guess my, 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 the, the last 20 years has been like, how can I make this simple and accessible for people so that not everybody has to do the journey with this complicated, overrated, you know, thing I've been able to put a language to it. And, uh, you know, and hopefully that's, it's still kind of complicated, right? Like, but I look at life and I'm like, what isn't, what is it complicated to so the person who wants to fully, um, consciously actualized life is about taking what is complicated and and removing the dross and being able to like refine that into pure gold right that's the kind of spiritual side of the journey and what medium you work with i love the fascia because it connects the entire person right throughout it like starts with the physical body that makes it really like i feel this this is me being human to what does that look like when it's in my emotions what does this look like in my spiritual journey what does this look like you know, um, and you can layer it um, and go as deep as you want, right? If you just want to feel good, great. Just stretch your fascia and do some GST because I think that it's, you know, the most direct way in to, to working with it. But then if you want to do the other deeper stuff, it kind of encourages you to do it anyway, as you've noticed, right? <laughs> you start doing it and then it's like, oh, but what about this? But, oh, this is, you know. Yeah. Um, it's a slippery slope. I can totally relate to feeling like it's a burden because I feel the same about quantum languaging where it's uh -huh. like, I have this relationship with words and I know it can help everyone. And how do I get it to everyone? And the pressure when I'm not getting it to everyone because no one else is doing it. It's like its own layer of kind of like torture blessing. Yeah. You know, what's so interesting when you say that is that when you have a, I think when you've been given a gift to give others, right? It's like not just a gift on the to itself. It's almost like there's this deep sense of, um, well, it's a, I always use the word complicated, but it's like you have quantum is both you, but it's also outside of you. And that's the weird thing for GST is it's like, it, it is a, it's a journey that happened to me just like it can happen for other people. So it is something I don't see GST as me. It's something a part of me that I am then also in a relation. It's like a, just a tricky relationship where it's like, it's not just like I made this up and that's why I didn't call it like the Anna Ray technique. Cause I'm like, this is something apart from me that I've also experienced, but without me, there wouldn't be this way to communicate it 
and to reach other people and to help people. And so that I think is what makes this kind of a burden where it's like, you have a multi-dimensional relationship with an entity that is apart from you, right? Quantum, you know, vocabulary and, and making energetics out of how you express yourself is something that is apart. It, it, it exists whether Danny does or not, but it doesn't actually get to people unless Danny can bring it to them. And that's where that burden is, where it's like, I don't know. It's just an interesting relationship, especially when you're trying to do a business. For me, it was really hard when I'm like trying to explain it to people and I want it to grow as a business and I want it to be, you know, have integrity to honor the work that is there, you know? Um, anyway, I, I think maybe everybody has a version of that um, burden, but maybe it's in different forms. So I hear you. It just is a very interesting relationship and you keep working on it, right? You keep like doing your quantum and I keep doing my GST, hoping that at some point it becomes, you know, and there will be a tipping point. I think some of this is just what people are telling me, which I think it resonates is you have to give it mass. Like it has to accumulate enough mass to have gravity, mm -hmm. right? And so as we continue to build out these bodies of work and people find it and their lives are changed by it, each person who recognizes it is adding to the gravity, right? Or to the mass so that it will have more gravity and then more things come from it. More people are attracted to it. That's the laws of, you know, that's my language is physics, but, um, yeah. you know, um, so we just keep doing our job every day, Danny, with passion and totally. Um, Thanks so much for sharing your time and sacred attention with me. I trust that you are gleaning value from my videos. And if this is the case, I encourage you to dive deeper and look into my books. Word Up Little Langing Hacks for Big Change is available as a print book, as an ebook, as an audio book. I also have, ta da! Pop Propaganda, an illustrated guide. This one was written for teenagers and grownups alike. It features 37 tools, tricks, techniques that the social engineers use to try to manipulate us. Duly educated on their tricks, we are infinitely more resourced to come together, to course correct, to steer our earthship onto an infinitely more wonderful, empowered, and empowering trajectory. Both of those books are on sale on Amazon. You can buy them privately from me through my website. Thanks for playing Tribe. <laughs>